What uh, what percentage would you say you were against Danny Garcia versus you today? Uh, I say I was probably about. Eighty percent against Danny Garcia. Eighty, seventy-five. Yeah, I was. I I wasn't right with Danny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Did I you surprise I yourself? I wasn't right at all. You wasn't right at all. Huh? What does that mean? You wasn't right at all. What does that mean? I just. I mean, I can, I can really I can write a book about. Really? My, yeah, about my whole training camp and just. You know, stuff that was happening, stuff that was going on. Wow. You know, it was just, it was, it was, a, it was a lot of stuff. So, you know, I was about, you know, eighty percent. I just knew that, you know, if he was gonna beat me, he was gonna, <laughs> he, he was gonna be in a real dog fight to beat me. So, that's that's all I knew. I knew I, I could, I could beat him. I got boxing easy. So I was like, if he so happens, you know, throw more punches with the huge, which was what I thought, you know, was very minimal that he was going to throw punches and just, you know, come at me and just have a lot of enthusiasm. So I was like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm just going to have boxing and just cruise to a victory and just get my feet wet after my, after my car wreck. But, you know, I did have it in the back of my mind if he, if he started coming forward and, you know, made me fight, you know, we was going to be in a, he was gonna be in the fight. Mm. How about your reflexes? Because I, I haven't spoken to you in a long, I haven't spoken to you in a long time, Earl. But yeah, uh, your your reflexes as it pertains to now, because these are a lot of questions that I had, the fans have. When did you start seeing that come back? And is it noticeably different now, or is it just your mindset? Would you say the confidence of the mind? Oh. Um. Oh, now I'm, sh- I'm sharp as heck. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm feeling strong. I'm about, I'm about 158 right now. You 158? Yeah, I'm working with Blue. We, you know, we doing. I was about to know, get the blue. Like, before, before my fight with Danny Garcia, Mikey Garcia, Sean Porter. Basically, all them fights, I them see Sean Porter. Uh, yeah, it's probably like Lamont Peterson. Like I wasn't working with blue, I wasn't doing sit ups. I was barely doing push ups. Um, I did strength conditioning mostly. Like when the cameras, when the camera crew come, mm-hmm. you know they want to see different stuff. So wow. I do, I do some strength conditioning stuff, or I do it like three or like four weeks before the fight because when I start dropping weight, you know my legs start getting weak and things like that. So I did a lot of strength conditioning, like for my fight but you know i was i was barely i was barely i wasn't doing sit-ups at all mm. you know i wasn't doing lower back workout you know i was doing push-ups to a minimal and you know you can see that you know when i weighed in at the Mar- mikey garcia fight or when i wait when i weighed in at the Sean porter fight like my physique and everything was you know was different even with mike garcia i sat in the sauna for probably the morning of the wing, I sat in the sauna for like two hours with a um, <laughs> with a sauna suit on, wow. with a sauna top on, with a sauna bottom on. You know, just sat in there for like two and a half, three hours trying to shadow boxing, trying to trying to drop. I think what was it like three pounds? Yeah, trying to drop like three pounds. So, mm. Damn. you know, now you yeah, now after Danny Garcia fight, you know I. I stayed in the gym, you know, I didn't get up to, you know, I usually get up to like 180, 185, 175. You know, I stayed around 165, 164. Mm. And, you know, just, you know, stay running, stayed in the gym. And, uh, you know, I started working out with Blue probably like a month ago. So, you know, on top of everything, trying to prepare my body to get into training camp mode and just you know and 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 do the best i can to get in the best shape i can and be as strong as i can so you know we can knock out many pack and you know send them my things over time yeah absolutely we got some super chats uh mr j job says salute earl we appreciate you rich barley coming in here saying what's up and 
Just champ says salute to you, Earl. Can't wait to see you, soldier. Salute from New Orleans. Go ahead, DB. 